In this video, I'm going to show you how to use motion tracking callouts by simple video making in Final Cut Pro. To use a callout, you can drag and drop it to the timeline, or drag it directly onto the viewer if you want to track an object or person in your video. When you drag the callout to an object or person, an on-screen tracker appears with controls that you can use to adjust the area you want to track. But let's turn it off for now. Just like a title or lower third, you can move the callout anywhere on your timeline. Drag the endpoint of a template to change its duration. You can extend or compress the template to make it longer or shorter to your liking. You can customize the callout settings from the title inspector. To enable or disable the template's in or out animation, simply toggle the build in or build out checkbox. As you can see, when we deselect the build in checkbox, the template will no longer be animated at the beginning. And if we turn off the build out checkbox, the animation at the end will be disabled as well. You can select the direction of the callout from this direction drop down menu. This on screen control allows you to change the template's scale and position. Simply drag this big circle in or out to resize the template. Then move this small inner circle around to adjust its position. Under Published Parameters, you can select the template's background color style, change texts, colors, opacity and many more. Now let's open the on-screen tracker. Pick a part of the object you want to track, and drag the sides and corners of the grid to fit the tracker to the object. Ideally, the pattern you select should be a consistent, easily identifiable detail with high contrast. This makes the pattern easier to track. If the grid includes too much information in the background, it could potentially confuse the tracker. In this example, I'll select this part of the camera that is visible throughout the video clip. Then in the upper left corner of the viewer, click Analyze. Final Cut Pro will track forward from the playhead position, then track backward before the playhead until the entire clip has been analyzed. Hit Done to finish, and the callout is now tracked to the camera, But as you can see, it's rotating with the camera's motion. You can disable this rotation tracking by deselecting it like so. We have a detailed video on how object tracking works in Final Cut Pro, so check out this video if you want to learn more about motion tracking. Under Published Parameters, you can also adjust a callout's offset and its leading line's position. If a template has a media drop zone, you can add an image or video to the drop zone. Select the drop zone, and add an image or video to the drop zone. Then hit apply clip, and adjust the drop zone's pan and scale if needed. Thank you for purchasing our callouts pack. Please don't hesitate to contact our team if you need any help with installing and customizing this pack.